So I turned on the Nate Herbig film and at first I thought he was a dude that has been in the league for 8 years, seasoned veteran, solid all around player and a great addition to the Steelers O-line and then I looked up his age and well he's 24 years old. So the Steelers got another young guy who is good on film from what I've seen. I mean, I watched around three games of all 22. One of the games was versus the Steelers and he was going off. Really only got beat one time by Larry Okunjobi. Got caught overextending and you know he doesn't have the longest arm so that is one of his downfalls but for the most part he is a very well-rounded guard and i'm really excited because you got chuck so core for he's young daniels he's young you got mason cole who's also on the younger side now you got nate herbig 24 years old dan moore is also very young but of course he's not going to be the starter next year or at least we're hoping that he's not but now that you've got all these solid pieces, Nate Herbig, Mason Cole, James Daniels, Chuck Sokorafor, you gotta add a big time piece, in my opinion, at left tackle. And a guy like Orlando Brown would be a good addition. Maybe the Steelers, you know, pay big time for a guy like that. But either way, whether it's in the draft or the free agency market, you gotta go out and get somebody who can really, you know, have the chance to make Pro Bowls, all pros, because if he can do that, you're taking your offense to the next level. But signing Nate Herbig is a step in the right direction because he is just an instant upgrade over Kevin Dotson. Kevin Dotson then gave this man, Kenny Pickett, two concussions already. So you don't want to see what he can do in Kenny Pickett's second year. And while I don't know if Nate Herbig has played left guard or not, I'm just assuming that he can play left guard and that the Steelers and Herbig have talked about it because James Daniels really did a solid job at right guard last year and it would make no sense to have him move over to left guard but either way you get more talent on that o-line and like i always say you get the talent and then figure everything else out later so i'm confident that the steelers have a plan for that and i'm confident that herbig can probably play left guard it's also nice though that the steelers got nate herbig on a two-year eight million dollar deal so you're really not paying much for a very quality player and just because not many people know about him does not mean that he isn't a high tier player because what the film was showing was a very high tier player with lots of potential at only 24 years old but let me know what y'all think about the Steelers signing Nate Herbig who should the Steelers sign next hopefully y'all enjoyed this video though and that is it for me on this one peace